So here we have another algebraic style word problem. Let's go ahead and read it. Three adults and five children paid $52 to go to the movies. The cost of a child's ticket is $4 less than the cost of an adult ticket. How much does an adult ticket cost? Okay, so once again, how do I know that this is an algebra problem? Uh, the reason why I know is because uh, this, I keep having mysteries. Like I see the cost of a child's ticket is $4 less than the cost of an adult ticket. It's being compared to an adult ticket. But yet, uh, the next very next phrase says, how much does an adult ticket cost? I'm comparing tickets, um, comparing something to a mystery. I don't even know how much an adult ticket costs. Okay, that's what tips me off that this is an algebra word problem. I'm allowed to use letters in algebra to stand in for mystery numbers. So that's the very first thing I'm going to do. I have this mystery, this mystery of how much an adult ticket costs. And so I'm going to let the price of an adult ticket be a letter. You always let a letter stand in for a mystery number. So let's use A to stand for adult. So the price of an adult ticket is going to equal A. Now I can, now that I've given um, this a letter to stand in for the number I don't know, I can go ahead and I can write a comparison statement for the child's ticket. Let's talk about the price of a child's ticket now. There is a phrase in our word problem that compares these two adults tickets with children's tickets. I see it right here. The cost of a child's ticket is four dollars less than the cost of an adult ticket. That means if I want to find out the price of a child's ticket I have to start with the cost of an adult ticket and take away four dollars. The child's ticket costs four dollars less than the adult ticket. Now be super careful. Order is important here. Notice it's not four minus a. You don't take four dollars and take away the price of the adult ticket. It's A minus four. You start with the adult cost and you take away four bucks to get to the child's cost. Okay. Now, once again, these are just expressions. These are both expressions, A and A minus four. In order to solve a mystery like what is A, I have got to set up an equation, two expressions that are equal to each other. So I need one more bit of information in order to do that. And that's where I'm going to use this. Three adults and five children paid $52. So I'm going to buy three adult tickets. Well, I know an adult ticket costs $8. If I want to buy three of them, it's going to be three times A. This is the cost of buying three adult tickets. 3A. Now, those aren't the only tickets I'm buying. I'm going to add that to the cost of buying five children's tickets. Now, I've got to buy five children's tickets, but children's tickets aren't just A's. They're this whole expression, A minus 4. So please use parentheses because I'm going to do five times the whole entire cost of a child's ticket, A minus 4. So this is me buying three adult tickets and, plus is and, five children's tickets. And where am I getting these things? I'm getting them from right up above. I set them. I said an adult ticket would be an A, so three adult tickets. And I said a child's ticket would be A minus four, so five children's tickets. Now, if I were to add that up, the cost of three adult tickets and five children's tickets, it should come to 52 bucks. I don't need my dollar sign. I don't know why I bothered to put it. And so there's my equation, 3a plus 5 times the quantity a minus 4 equals 52. And this might look nasty, but it's actually pretty simple algebra, so let's start solving now that we've written our equation. I'm just erasing all my markings here. Okay, so the first basic rule of algebra is to simplify before you start solving. So I see some simplifying I know how to do, some work I know how to do on the left-hand side. First thing I know is that I can always distribute multiplication across parentheses. And so if you don't know how to do that, you need to check out the distribution. That's the skill you're missing. But that's what I'm going to do. I really should have circled this with a sign. I'm going to multiply plus, plus 5 or positive 5 times these things. So I'm not touching 3a. It will stay the same. A positive 5 times a would be plus 5a. Positive 5 times negative 4 would be negative 20. And that whole thing is equal to 52. 
Now remember, do as much simplifying as you can before you start solving. It'll make your life easier. I see more simplifying I can do here. I can combine like terms. 3a and 5a are like, and so they're able to combine. If, no matter what you have, if you have three of something and five more of that something, that means you have a total of eight of that something. So three a's and five a's would give me eight a's. There's no like terms to combine with negative 20. It drops, and I get that that whole thing is equal to 52. Now, I'm done with my simplifying, my work that I can do on the left and right-hand sides of the equation. It's time to start solving, moving numbers back and forth across the equal sign using inverse operations with the goal of getting the letter alone. Okay, so I'm trying to get this letter alone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move away the numbers that are over here with this letter. Remember that when you're solving, you're working backwards. So you're going to work your order of operations, your Gemma backwards. I'm going to move anything that's adding or subtracting before um, I move multiplying exponents or deal with groupings. So I'm going to move this minus 20. The way to do that would be the opposite of minusing. The opposite of minusing is adding, so I'll add 20. Rule of algebra is I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. On this side, negative 20 and positive 20 cancel, leaving me with just 8a. And on this side, 52 plus 20, that's the math I need to do. It comes to 72. Now I'm almost done, but a is not alone yet, so I must get rid of this 8. Currently, what is this 8 doing with a? Well, they're all shoved together like this. They must be multiplying. I'll do the opposite of multiplying. The opposite of multiplying is divide. I'll divide by 8. Again, the rule of algebra is I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. And so I write divide by 8 on the other side as well. On this side, 8 and 8 cancel, leaving me with a. On this side, 72 divided by 8 is 9. And I just learned that a is equal to 9. And remember, I decided that a up here, I said it. I said let a be the price of an adult ticket. So what I just learned, if I learned that a is equal to $9, is that $9 is the price of an adult ticket. Now do your homework. Make sure this is what they asked for. They could have asked you for the price of the child's ticket. So do come back to the question. Let's see what the question says. How much does an adult ticket cost? Yay, they did ask me for an adult ticket and I have the price of an adult ticket already. No more extra work to do. I am done. $9 is the price of an adult ticket.